Hello friends, Kid Charming here. It's a beautiful morning. I wish that Mother Nature would decide on what season it is. That would be great. Because we get some really freaking cold days where it's like 2 degrees. And I guess today with the humidex it's supposed to be 26. What's... What's going on, dude? Like... <laughs> Do I need to bring my summer clothes back out? Do I need to bring my winter ones out? Like, tell me, just just let me know. Let me know, like, do I need to put my winter tires on now? I mean, my wife already did hers. Do I need to do mine now? Like, did she maybe jump the gun? Like, just make up your mind. Anyway. <laughs> so today is the first day that I'm using the mic in the car. So let me know how that is. By the way, we all know you won't. Sorry. Shots. I'm sorry. I, I apologize. Not really. But I do. But kind of not. But I do. <laughs> so I do apologize for the short video yesterday. Um, unexpected circumstances came up. One of them being an hour stuck in traffic and I couldn't really like I didn't know how long we were going to be stuck in traffic for so I couldn't just set it up and start recording I didn't know if we'd end up moving soon and then that would be awkward having this thing on my steering wheel while I'm trying to go plus there's cops everywhere and then they'd be like what are you doing so I couldn't um I got to work like 10 minutes late so you know I couldn't stop and do you know five to ten minutes uh recording you know, and be even more late for work. That's definitely not an option. Um, and then when I got home, of course, I recorded for like three or four minutes. And then my buddy Danny just like, is like, hey, he calls me while I'm recording. And I'm like, yeah, what up? And he couldn't hear me because my mic was still plugged in. I think I was still recording, so I'm sorry if you guys caught that. But yeah, like, I, I wasn't expecting that. Um... Life can be unpredictable for sure. My hair is, uh, it's okay, I guess. I didn't do anything with it. I just kind of woke up. Too tired to really bother with it right now. Speaking of tired, hopefully by Monday you'll have your first episode of Adulting 101. Why did I do this in like a radio announcer voice? I don't know. But next with the news. Ah, uh, funny joke. Um, but yeah, it's it's um, been a unique week for sure, and it's only Wednesday. Oh, also, today, um, they might be throwing us on the phones. Yay! I mean, that scares the crap out of me, but at the same time, this is what I came here to do. So it doesn't freak me out too much, and I've I've done call center work before so really this is just another day for me now about that so if you've ever had a job you know you're not going to feel prepared right off the bat even they could train you for like ever and you still wouldn't be prepared because you actually have to jump in and get it done i don't know if this is high enough let me just bring it up a little bit you're never fully going to feel prepared for your job you're never going to feel like you know enough but that's normal just letting you guys know that not feeling prepared for your first you know time actually doing something on the job Guys, that is life. That is what it is like. They cannot prepare you for everything. It's not possible. I know this. I was a trainer at one point. I know, and I've been in that position. I'm in that position now. You're not going to feel prepared. You're never going to feel prepared. It's like, oh, I'll have kids when I feel like I'm prepared. Then you're never going to have children, period. That is what you're telling people. I am never going to have children, ever. Or I'll do this when I feel uh, like I have things in order, that I, I, I'm, I'm ready. You're never going to be ready. Never going to be ready. 
You're never going to feel ready enough to take that leap. So just do it. Just leap. Okay? It's, 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 it's okay. The worst you can do is, is fall flat on your face. But guess what? When you do that, you learn from it. You learn from that experience. I know because I've fallen on my face multiple times. <laughs> I'm going to fall on my face today. If my phone works. And as much as I hate that feeling of, of like, I'm going to screw this up. Like, yeah, I'm going to screw up. It's going to happen. But you know what? That's how you learn. That's how you learn in anything in life. You know, you climb that tree. First three times are great. The fourth time you fall and you hurt yourself. You learned, hey, either one, maybe I shouldn't climb trees anymore. Or two, I need to find better footing before I do this. Or, you know, um, you're working out or whatever. And you overdo it. And you're sore and you've, you've really screwed up. You know for next time, hey, I shouldn't push myself so hard. Or basically I can put this to anything. You're going to screw up. Even if you do great for the first little bit, that's when you get overconfident and that's when you screw up. And it kind of like puts you in check saying, hey, look, you're not head honcho. You're not big dog. You can screw up and you just did. And that's fine. You can do that. Some, it's, everything is just a learning curve. Everything is just a learning experience. Life is a learning experience. You never master life. You just get a little bit better. You can't master life. Life, there is no... There is no, like, how-to guide. There is no reference book, really. It's just you do it and you screw up and you learn from those experiences. You can also learn from other people's experience. Hey, you probably shouldn't do that because I did that and this is what happened. Then you don't listen to those people because you're like, well, I'm better. You're not. You're going to you're going to screw up just like the other person did. But that's fine. Some people have to learn on their own. They can't learn from other people's experiences. And that's fine, too. Then you learn, hey, maybe I should learn from other people's experiences. Because apparently, this is just going to happen. It's like putting someone telling you, hey, don't put your hand on that burner. I did that once and I got burned. And you're like, yeah, but you're just stupid. And then you do it and you're like, frig, that hurts. Yes. Yes, it does. Maybe you should have listened to that person. Just saying. (sighs) Yeah. Life's no cakewalk. Life's no walk in the park, unless you live in a very, like, weird area where your park is, like, unpredictable and random crap happens all the time. Like, something from, like, a TV show, I guess. But life is still awesome. You get to meet some awesome people. You get to meet some not-so-awesome people. There's always, like, a balance there. You meet great people. You meet terrible people. You meet people that, what my dad would call your sandpaper. Those people people that are there just to, like, test you. That are there just to rub you the wrong way. But the thing about those people is, is that they teach you something. They teach you to be more patient. They teach you, they show you some of your flaws. But in the end, you turn out better than before. Like, you're, you're using sandpaper on on a piece of wood to make it smooth, right? So those people are your sandpaper. You're a rough piece of wood. They're your sandpaper, you know, irritating the crap out of you. But in the end, you turn out smooth. You turn out better than you were before. So as much as you hate your sandpaper people, they're there for a reason. Sometimes those sandpaper people aren't people you just don't like. They could be your friends that just annoy the crap out of you. But they make you better. Just saying. So don't. Don't hate those people. <laughs> as, as hard as it is. Trust me, I know. But anyway, I think that's pretty good for right now. And I'll catch you guys after work. Kid Charming is going to work. Actually, Kid Charming is going to sit with her friend Melinda for like a while. Because it's only like...
17 minutes after 8, and we only work at 9, so. Oops. Not oops. I like being early. But anyway, I'm going to go chill with Melinda for a little bit. I'll catch you guys after work. Hello, ladies and gentlemen. So I am back home, and I am pumped. And here's why. May have been a little bit nervous this morning, but I kicked butt today. I may have only taken one call, but I kicked that call's butt. That's what happened. Actually, it was really easy. It was a super easy call. Everybody else that, uh, like, we were uh, in groups of three, the other two people in my group had really complicated calls, and I didn't. So I learned that uh, my call voice is uh, unavoidable. It's going to happen, and there's nothing I can do to fix that. So there we go, I guess. For those of you who don't know uh, what my call voice sounds like, so I answer like this. Thank you for calling my place of work. My name is Darcy, and how can I help you today? That's my call voice. And I talk like that the entire, like throughout the entire call. Okay, well I can definitely help you with that. Just bear with me for a few moments while I uh, dig a little deeper. Yeah, that's how I sound the entire time, <laughs> so. That apparently is an unavoidable thing that's going to happen and there's nothing I can do about it, but that's fine. Um, yeah, it was, it was a really good day. Um, there was another accident. Like, I mean, like seriously, the snow hasn't even started and there's been so many accidents. Like yesterday there was one I had to pull off the road and I was, I was off for like an hour. Like I, I was off, <laughs> I was waiting in traffic for an hour. But that was one of like four that morning, one of like four accidents that morning. And that is just crazy. And today there was a couple of more accidents on my way home so bad that down my road, they had to send a chopper. A chopper means that either there's life threatening injuries happening or someone's may not make it. Like that's how intense it is. They've sent so many like fire trucks and, and police officers and, and whatnot. So I, I'm hoping, you know, I'm praying nobody dies, but uh, it sounds pretty bad. Like they've closed off the road. It's 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 a really bad accident. So I'm hoping everything turns out okay. Um, but yeah, I've also learned that I need to be quieter when I'm talking because the uh, the mic is really loud. Like it really picks up a lot of, uh, of of sound there. So I may have to check my levels when I'm actually rendering this video to to make sure that it's not too pitchy and and cuts out in places because I know that I get really excited sometimes and you know use a, a higher pitched voice or a, or a louder voice in, in general so I either have to learn to be quiet or learn how to adjust my levels in post so yeah today was a really good day tomorrow I get to do it all over again except I get to take more calls and my phone's actually fixed so yeah because mine was broken but they fixed it Great. But that's what I'm there to do, so I'm kind of excited to actually get out of the classroom and actually do stuff. As weird as that may be. But yeah. It's been a tiring day. I'm going to chill now. My wife's home. We have wood out front that needs to be put away, but we're not doing that till the weekend, and I will show you the grind on that, because gosh, it's a lot of wood. <laughs> like a lot, a lot of wood. A cord of wood, actually. <laughs> if you want another explanation of what a cord of wood is, just look it up on the internet. But yeah, so I will see you guys tomorrow. Kid Charming out.